guys, take a good look at the map screen. Because if all goes according to plan, this will be the final time we're seeing this beautiful, beautiful map screen. Hello everybody, Dmod, Gmod here, and welcome back for some more Pikmin 2! In the last episode, we finished up in the Hole of Heroes. And we also went to the... where is it? Where is it? There you go. Valley of Repose. I don't know why I said where is it. There's only four places on the map, and I was already at one of them, so it's only three possibilities. And we went to the Valley of Repose, and we did a little trick and a little bit of exploring to get ourselves 100 purple Pikmin so that we can take back the final above ground treasure in the Wistful Wild. And today, today my friend, which should be the final day, we're going to be going to get that last above ground treasure. And then after that, as you can see here, the Awakening Wood is 100%. Die for Pose, 100%. Perplexing Pool, 100%. All that's left is to get that last treasure and enter the final dungeon of the game, the Dream Den. With a whopping 21 treasures, it's going to be one heck of a ride. I can't believe I get to say this, but we're finally coming near the end, folks. The final day of Pikmin 2. Let's jump right into it, baby. Let's go. I'm pumped up. Alrighty, folks. Wistful Wild for the final time. This is the last time we get to see this beautiful place. I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. Because every good adventure has to come to an end. Eventually. Alrighty, first things first. You're gonna need your 100 purple pigment army right here. Look at this. All 100 obese purple carrots. All right here to help out. You're going to be needing every single one of them. You have to dedicate your entire group into doing this project. There, You can't leave a single purple out of this. And not all flowers, but this will have to do. Look at them. Isn't it beautiful? It's even better because purple is my favorite color. So it just looks even better. I'm gonna take care of these guys too quickly as well. So we have no interruptions going over there. And I just realized that most of the enemies probably respawn, which means it's going to be a little bit annoying to get to the Dream Den, but we'll probably be fine. And here it is, folks. The treasure we've been waiting so long for. A freaking weight with a 1,000 Pikmin requirement on it. Pretty crazy stuff. And there we go. With the power of 100 Pikmin. 100 purples. There you go. Now look at that. Isn't it beautiful looking having this big old reef around it? I will admit that it looks better if you have like all flower pick and not just all leaves because it looks freaking it's like a bouquet of flowers it looks really pretty but unfortunately we do not have that we only have leaves and i'm not going to take too much time just to go ahead and get some flowers now as you can see here even with 100 purple pikmin this thing is taking forever to make it back to the base and well can you really blame them this thing's worth a thousand this thing has a thousand weight to it whatever you want to whatever whatever type of weight unit they use for pikmin i don't know what do Hockitations use for weight? Do they have like pounds and stuff like that or do they have their own thing? Who knows? Maybe someday we'll find out. Maybe a Pikmin 4 ever comes out. Just maybe. <laughs> yeah, this thing takes freaking forever to get back to the base. And just to show you guys how long this is going to take, I'm going to fast forward this footage by four times. And you're going to see just how long it takes to get back over here. So that being said, enjoy it. This takes forever. Good God, I knew it took a while, but good freaking Lord. <sighs> so as you can see here, this took like a quarter of the day and this thing was right near our base. I imagine if this thing was like on the other side of the Wistful Wild. This thing would take days to bring back. But thankfully, it's finally here. The final above ground treasure of the game. This is, as you can see, worth 3,000 Pokos. That is 30% of our entire debt if we came here before, you know, we finished the debt off. The Doomsday Apparatus certainly feels like a powerful weapon with how freaking heavy that thing is to carry. And with that, folks, we have collected every single above ground treasure in the game. All that's left is the 21 left in the Dream Dead. Not bad at all. And now that being said, now it's time to set up our army for going into the final dungeon. And normally I might cut this away until we go to the Dream Den. However, I feel like I should definitely make some notes here. Going into the Dream Den, if you're not ex knowing what to expect, it can be kind of difficult to assume what you should bring. And take my advice on this, I'm going to be bringing 25 purples. Just so I have something to fight things with if I need to. We're going to bring not too many reds. We're going to bring... Uh... 
I think I'll bring... Let's go Let's go 20 reds. We'll, we'll, we'll just go 20 reds. As you remember, the Dream Deck has every type of hazard in the game, so you're going to want to be making sure that you bring a little bit of every Pikmin. Uh, we're going to bring... I think 20 whites should do it. Yeah, I think 20 whites will be good. I leave 65 for that. And I'm going to bring... How many? We, we got room for a few. Okay, in that case... um. I'm gonna bring 20 blues and take and take my word on this and take it well you want I'm gonna say it again just to make sure you guys hear it you want to bring lots of yellow Pikmin I recommend at least 20 so I'm actually gonna go away and put some Pikmin trust me on this yellow Pikmin are going to be your best friend in this dungeon you'll see why but make sure you bring some yellows on you and I'm gonna put away five purples and I think I'm also actually gonna put away Five whites. There we go. The 30 yellow should do the job just fine. But trust me on this. Yellow Pikmin are going to be your... Actually, no. 25 yellows. But yeah. Yellow Pikmin are going to be your best friends. Make sure you have them. And now, that being said, we march on out. It is time to go find the Dream Den once again. And let's try and dodge most of the enemies on the way there. Actually, what I could probably do is I can probably leave most of my Pikmin with like one of my captains. And have Almar go forward with like... On his own, just to go and enter the dungeon. But you know what? That's the boring way. That's the easy way out. We're gonna we're gonna march there triumphantly. We're gonna fight our way there like we should. We went for the whole of heroes for a reason. Dang it! Now we're true heroes. We gotta prove it. All right, there we go. And oh, you! Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, the freaking looking burnets. They can actually take away your bridge. Like they can eat away at the bridge, and like you can't go across it anymore. You know what then? Forget it. I was going to be a man and do it the, the, the quote-unquote manly way, but forget it. I'm just going to do it the other way. Hey, all of our, go on your own. I'm tired of these pictures coming near us. There we go. All right, now. Hey, 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 hey. Come back. Come back. Everyone else come with me. All right, hang out with the president, and if my strategy will work, then this should be fine. All right, so we're going to do this. There we go. We're going to bring all of them over here. And there's the Gatling Grunk from before. Hello there, friend. I hate you, but we're not going to have to deal with you, thankfully. And we're going to run right on over here. And if my plan works, we should be into the dungeon, no problem. If not, this is going to be a hilarious reset. Alright, the Dream Den. As you can see, it has fire, water, electricity, and poison. You can pretty much expect anything you've captured in the game to be here. So, whenever you're ready, whenever you got potions, whenever you got your Pikmin ready, step forward into the final dungeon of the game and our final trial. Let's do this. Uh, all right. On second thought, let's not do this. Let's go ahead and go get the rest of our Pikmin. Uh, I'll cut away. This is going to take a little bit. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, jeez. All righty, I'm back, folks. And as you can see, I took out the enemies quickly, and this Gatling Groink is trying to kill me. However, thankfully, it's a little too stupid to realize that I'm behind a wall, so we're fine. Good old live bait never fails to impress. I'm sure the ship would kill me if he knew I was using the present as live bait against a freaking Gatling Groink, but here we are. So all that's left now is we're going to wait for them to build the bridge, and then Almar's going to come across right there, and I think we're going to purple potion the Gatling Groink just so I don't have to fight it, and then we're going to run through to the dungeon. Because I don't really feel like dealing with this. Gatling Groinks are scary. We've, we've, we've established this already, so I don't think I'm going to deal with this because we're kind of running low on time here, and... I would really appreciate, though, if we, if my whole speech about it being the final day and the final time we're seeing the map stream, you know, would actually be true. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I think so. Uh, is there a way to get rid of the water here? I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure the water is just stuck here. I'm pretty sure you have to take the bridge. I don't think, if there is a way to get rid of the water, I don't see it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're stuck here. And is he still going after me? He's still going after me. Well, the Gatling Groink, uh, you're scary, but apparently you're not very bright. <laughs> so yeah, all we gotta do now is we gotta take care of the bridge, then we gotta run through. I'm going to purple potion the Gatling Groink, then when I get the chance to, we're gonna run through with all of our, we're going to dodge all the orange ball warps, and we're gonna go straight to the dungeon. There's no reason to fight anything anymore. We're just gonna get to that dungeon and finish it before the day's end. That's all that's left to do. That being said, though, it's taking a while. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll cut away. I'll see you guys in just a second here. Come on, guys. The bridge is right there. This should count. Come on, right? This should count, all right? I, I could probably jump over that, except probably not because Olimar's legs are really stubby. Besides the point, there we go. All armies here. And now, with the attack plan, 
We're going forward. Trezent, run in there. Do your thing. Purple potion. Everyone else, run like heck. All right, go, 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 go. Trezent, come along too. Trezent, where are you? Okay, we already got him. All right. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. Uh, move, guys. Move, move, move. There's a pigment. I lost the pigment. Crap. Uh, whatever. Oh, purple, no. Purple, come back. Come on, purple. I believe in you. You can do it. No, 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 no. You know what? Forget we're leaving. Oh, God. Well, not the best way to enter the dungeon, but, uh, it certainly is a me way. Oh, crap. That, okay, maybe I should have probably purple potioned a little more. Maybe I could have used all my purple potions on all the guys here. Oh, well, though, we'll have to make do with it. Alrighty, then. Last fail, hopefully, of the LP. Let's do it. Dream Den for real this time. Let's go. <sighs> that was certainly a dramatic way to enter the final dungeon, but here we are. The Dream Den. Sub-level one. Alrighty, here we go. Now, this dungeon here, like I said before, this dungeon isn't actually the longest dungeon in the game, even though it is technically the final dungeon, which may catch you off guard. And wow, most of my Pikmin are now elites because of that. That kind of sucks. As you can see, there are enemies everywhere here. So we're gonna... All right, let me just swarm this guy quickly. We got some perfect combats here. And you got enemies from, like, all over the place. We got some from, like, the, from the perplexing pool. We got enemies... We just got enemies we've been fighting, like, all across the entire game, so... You'll find a little bit of pretty much everything across the game, as I've been, as I've been saying. And I lost another Pickering. Great. Off to an amazing start. That, that, that's... The, the, geez. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take care of you, too. Alright, so as I was saying, this dungeon here is it, a total of 13 floors, and... At one point, I was thinking, maybe I should do some fast forwarding for this dungeon, but you know what? It's the final trial. I should keep it all in. So we're gonna be doing it all. All in one go, hopefully. Hopefully... Not many failures. That's that's not guaranteed though, <laughs> especially because it's me. All right, there we go. Enemies out of the way at the start of the map. Now we can actually focus on things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my purples here. There we go. And Olimar, he's gonna stay with the rest of the guys and make sure they don't get into any trouble. And guys, I said purples. How hard is it? You're not purple. You're blues. And I'm gonna get out of the way of this quickly. There we go. I'm gonna take him down. Go. Nice and simple. And wow, I only have 14. Wow, how many? Wait, how many purples did I lose in that? Oh, okay, no, he just had the. I was like, wait a second, did I lose that many purples? Like for coming into the dungeon? If so, that really sucks. I might have been reset worthy, but nope, we're fine. All right, got one more comment over here. Now, if you want to, of course, since you know we already have the deck complete, you don't have to worry about treasure at all. If you want to, you can literally just speed run this dungeon and go right to the final floor and finish the game. However, being the 100% man I am, we're gonna be getting all the treasures here, of course. We've gone this far trying to get everything, and whoa! Did you guys see that? He like teleported. That looked weird. Right, right, right. These guys over here too, and we gotta worry about the. Oh, oh crap. Guys, run. Guys, run. Leave them alone. There you go. Oh, oh no, they're stuck. If you ever get stuck on a, like a ramp over here, you can normally bring your Pikmin over to, like, to one of these uh, ramps, and you can get them over. Like so. There we go, and come on, guys, stop being stupid. Up the ramp. Come on. There you go. There you go. That wasn't so bad, was it? Alright, perfect. There we go. And now we're gonna need a white picture because there's poison everywhere. Right, there we go. I don't think there's treasure over here, but I'm, in, I'm just gonna get rid of the poison generator to make sure I know I've already been over here. Yep, nothing over here. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Gotta say, this theme of the floor for being the first floor, this is not what you'd think for a Fallen Dungeon. You'd be thinking like the Fallen Dungeon would look like all menacing or something, but no. It looks like a child's playground, which, you know, I, I like the theme for the, I like the theme. It's just, I don't know, wasn't expecting this type of theme when I came down here, that's for sure. Alrighty, uh, let's see, we got over here, and this is where most of the floor is, over here. This out, uh, let's see, we got lots of, holy orange dwarf, dwarf bulb, they're everywhere. You can just find a treasure to ignore them all. Maybe that, that maybe that'll be a better plan. Oh, there we go. We found a treasure. We got a kiwi. I'm gonna have my white Pikmin carry it too, so it goes extra fast. And I'm one white Pikmin short because of how I entered this dungeon. Yeah, great. All right then. Uh, let's take one blue. Up, uh, come here. One blue. Okay. All right, flying six apparently. Jeez. 
freaking Pikmin, man. I don't know what it is, but with this project, Pikmin have been like, they always like join my army when I don't, I don't even call them. They can just come join my army on their own. And it hasn't happened nearly as much as this project. I'll definitely say that much. And, all right, fine. Everyone can carry it. Sheesh. There goes my, there goes my perfectly planned using white Pikmin to carry the treasure back, but whatever. Okay, they'll carry that back. And that might actually be the only treasure on the floor. I think it is actually. And these guys are going to get in the way, so I'm going to take them out quickly. Which I have my purples right now, but oh well, we'll make do with what we got. And I shouldn't have not had made do with what we had, because I lost two Pikmin. Holy crap, this dungeon has started off awfully. Holy jeez. I'm running out of freaking things to say whenever I fail. I've been failing so much recently. Holy crap. Not the best start, that's for sure. We're only on floor one, and I've already lost, like, what? Three Pikmin? Four Pikmin? Not good. So as long as we don't lose too many yells, we should be fine. Alright, there we go. Get the treasure here. And I think this is the only treasure on the floor. I think. Keyword is I think. And what are those guys doing? They're like... I didn't want to say it, but they're kind of like pumping their ground? <laughs> that's really... I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. That's, that's just what it looks like, alright? <laughs> Anyways, here we got the Disguise Delicacy, our first treasure here. Not bad. And, yep, that is the final treasure here. Or the only treasure, I guess you could say. And with that, that concludes the first floor. Definitely not a good start to the dungeon, but hey, you know. So, oh. Alright then, it looks like I am going to have to clear out some enemies. Or I could just have our Pikmin run through. That works too. Except they're all leaves, so I don't know how well this is going to work. So, uh, I think I'll choose the fight. Actually, this will probably work fine. Alright guys, catch up please. Ah, frick I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight just to make sure they don't get in the way. Yo, now that I actually have my purples on me, this isn't nearly as bad. Hey, leave them alone. Don't don't attract the enemies. We're trying to get away from the enemies. And there we go, alright. And this should take no time at all with my full squad here. And this should take come on. Alright. And there we go. So yeah, I think it's actually our first time seeing that, but whenever an exit is blocked off like that, you just have to break it open and you'll be able to get through just fine. Actually, no, wait, no, we've seen that at the Submerged Castle. Never mind, that's not that's not our first time. And there we go. That being said, though, that's floor number one. Not the best floor, like, not the best run of the floor, but, you know, we'll... I'll take it, you know. It's it's, def it's definitely a me run, you know? The me run is just in recklessly and just not doing a very good job, but it's getting done in the first place. It gets done at all, so it's okay. And alrighty, here we are, sub-level 2, and once again, keeping up the childhood theme, or like the child's playground theme. We got like drawings on the floor, we got Lego blocks and whatnot on the walls, and wait a second, I think I... Do I hear a Gatling groink? I think I hear a Gatling groink, oh no. Alright, well before disaster befalls me like it's probably going to, I think we're going to cut this stuff off right here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little taste of what the Dream Den has in store for us. But, with that being said though, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little, uh, we'll call it a, actually, forget a nickname for it. It was a pretty bad run so far, but we're going to make it better. We're going to make it better. We're going to get through this and we're going to do good, alright? So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time on Pippin 2, we'll keep on going through the Dream Den. And seeing if we can eventually find our old friend Louie. See you guys then.